elevators. I greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus in reverence to the reading of the word of the Lord. We invite everyone to stand up at this moment. We're going to read a couple of verses from the word of the Lord. Verses in Mark. First chapter, verse 37. Mark 137. Mark 137. I'm going to read only that little part, the little patch after column. That says the following. Everyone is looking for you. Now, the other verse is in John chapter 1, verse 38. The one is everyone seeks you. The second is John 1, 38. I'm going to read only after the, the comma there. Um, there's a question mark at the end. What do you seek? Only this. We praise the Lord. We thank you. Thankful for this moment of fellowship. Uh, that in your word you may manifest among your people. We pray in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. The word of the Lord, the Bible, and verse says the following: that God is great in counsel and mighty in power. And tonight, our God has an advice for you and for me, and for each one of us because as we receive his, his advice we also receive his grace his love and his favor and his mercy and I believe that we need to seek this tonight and there's another text in the Bible that says seek the Lord while you can find it and seek him while he's near. There's another text in Proverbs. It says the following. Who finds me will find life. And he will be able to reach the favor of the Lord. The first verse that we just read tonight. Speaks of a moment. A man called Peter. That eventually became a disciple an apostle of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This man went up to the temple, the house of the Lord, and there, in the, the temple, the house of the Lord, Jesus was present. And the service finished in that temple. Peter didn't allow Jesus in the temple. Peter invited Jesus and took Jesus to his own house. First, advice of the Lord. When you finish the service tonight, take Jesus home. I desire the Lord to save you and your whole household. And as he entered in the house of Peter, his mother-in-law was sick. But as I said previously, Peter had brought Jesus to his house. You know what happened to, to the mother-in-law of Peter? She was cured. Why was she cured? Because Jesus was present. We sang uh, uh, a few minutes ago a song that speaks of Lazarus. Why did Lazarus die? Because Jesus was not present. Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. That's what Mary said. So the death and the absence of Jesus in the love of man. Amen. Here's another advice. 
And then after the Lord Jesus performed that miracle of <coughs> bringing health to the life of the mother-in-law of Peter, the people from the community, the neighbors, their relatives and friends, people from their uh, town, they took notice and that brought um, popularity to Jesus. In the house of Peter, Jesus is present and he just performed a miracle. So every person that were sick, that were um, um, but being bothered by uh, evil spirit, that were anguished and sad, and if they had any sort of need, they went to the house of Peter, you know, to meet Jesus and therefore to receive a blessing from God. And Jesus performed signs and wonders and he saved, cured, and delivered. And it brought more uh, and, and made uh, the name of Jesus more aware in the area. And there came a moment where everybody was seeking Jesus. So then Peter tells Jesus, Jesus, everybody is seeking you. How wonderful it is, we can think. What a wonderful thing. Everyone was seeking the Lord. But the people that were seeking Jesus, they were seeking Jesus because of a necessity for one specific objective. Now all the people that sought Jesus because of a necessity or for a specific, specific finality, uh, objective, they reached from the Lord the favor of God, the favor of the Lord. And the word says that the one that comes to Jesus, comes to me, I will never throw away. <coughs> the same Bible that we're preaching tonight says the following. Ask and it will be given to you. So every person began to seek Jesus and ask, making requests to Jesus. Bartimaeus. He Jesus asked him, what do you want that I see? Jesus told him, see and your life and your faith will sa uh, just save you. Ten lepers, a leopard, uh, sick, sought Jesus to have their sickness be cured. And Jesus cured all ten because Jesus did, does not choose each um, uh, person to bless. God blesses everyone. There was a woman that was seeking the Lord f to um, have her flow of blood being cured, and she was cured. In a certain moment, there was a wind that was uh, disturbing the, the sea where Jesus and the disciples were in a boat, and they asked Jesus, Jesus, save us. And Jesus said, calm down the sea, and there was a great calm in the sea. So the storm, the the trouble and the difficulty that was about to come, it, it just uh, stopped to exist because Jesus, with a single word, remo removed all the difficulty. But salvation is not in those things. It is a song that we just sang that I found. I found salvation in Jesus my Lord forgiveness, freedom I found. And the word says, my brethren, that a servant of the Lord called John the Baptist, as he was seeing Jesus passing by, he came and said, here is the Lamb of the Lord that removes sin from men. And the people that heard this, one of them was Peter. So Peter left John the Baptist and he began to, to follow Jesus. And when, as they were following Jesus, Jesus turned to them and asked the following, What are you seeking? He made a, a question, he asked a question. 
And the same question is being asked to you, my brother and sister, to each person present in the service. What are you seeking? What have you come to seek tonight? A cure? A deliverance? Uh, open door regarding a job? You came to seek light, spirituality? Salvation. What have you come to seek? All the people that were seeking Jesus, all of them, they wanted a blessing for this life. But the Bible says the following If we desire the Lord only for this life, we are the most miserable of all the creatures. One day, Jesus looked at Peter and said, You are blessed. And Jesus told to Peter, You are blessed. Blessed are you, Simon, because blessed means you are very happy. It's a joy that n never leaves you. Man that has salvation has this joy that never leaves him. This, this joy will never leave us from within my heart. It's the lyrics of a song. So do you know what is salvation? It is to feel a great joy. It is to be blessed. It is to be happy. It is to have happiness. Because happiness is to have Jesus beside me and have my name written in the Book of Life. That's what Peter was seeking. Peter, he didn't have any infirmity. Peter, you know, at this instant, no problem. Peter, at that instant, he didn't have any necessity. No, materially speaking, what there was in the life of Peter, a necessity that was greater. In the service of the past, they, when they write the book of Psalms, my soul seeks the Lord of the living God. When I might present myself, when will I present myself to your face? The Jews have something that is amazing. In Psalms, it says this. He says, if I forget you, O Jerusalem, well, if I do not prefer Jerusalem as my greatest joy. So the desire of the Jew is to go to Jerusalem. The desire of the servant of the Lord is to go to the new Jerusalem. And this is the desire. This was the will. This is what Peter was seeking. Peter was not looking for uh, a job because he already had a job even though he had a, a simple job as a fisherman well it was not as good as as a fisherman he was not very good as a fisherman but he made enough to supply for his needs but the greatest necessity on the life of this man was to seek the Lord seek the Lord seek salvation, to seek forgiveness, to seek the remission of his sins, to seek a place in heaven, a place in eternity. But when Jesus comes to Peter and tells Peter, what are you seeking? What do you want, my brother? He comes to Jesus and asks a question. He says something important to Jesus. He says the following, where do you live? Peter wanted to know the address of the house of Jesus. He not only wanted to be in the house of Jesus, but he wanted to be in the house of Jesus. Our greatest necessity is to be in the house of the Lord, in His presence. You know what the Lord says about house and dwelling? In the house of the 
the Father, there are many dwellings. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Peter wanted to live with God, to be beside God. And the word says that the name of Jesus is salvation. Yeshua is Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. And Christ in us is hope of uh, the eternity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That was the desire of Peter. I wanted to go to your house. My brother, I don't know what you came to seek tonight. But the desire of the Lord is to take you to live with Him in eternity. The desire of the Lord not only to give uh, supply to your necessity in this life, but also to give the opportunity to inherit a life that will not finish uh, an eternal life a new heaven a new earth when there will not be more pain or tears that's what Peter was seeking he was seeking rest for his soul my greatest necessity is to find a rest for my soul and Peter wanted this rest he wanted this, this comfort, his peace. He wanted his consolation. He wanted to have this assurance that one day he could be with the Lord in eternity. So, my brother, Jesus asks, "Why do you seek?" And my brother, if you if you're seeking for a cure, they can glorify the name of the Lord. But God tonight is operating a cure in your life and your behalf and your benefit if you're seeking a door of work glorify the name of the Lord because we believe that the Lord Jesus has already provided an open door for you if you're seeking a deliverance you have already been delivered by the name of Jesus but if you're seeking a place in heaven a place in eternity Jesus has already prepared a dwelling for you, for your life, for my life, for our lives. The text says that those men went to the house of Jesus. And where the house where is the house of Jesus today? Jesus himself says, When there are two or three gathered in my name, in any place where there are two or three people gathered in the name of Jesus that's where the house of Jesus is that's the inhabitants of the Lord that's where is, that's where the place what the Lord reserved for us to be with him and they asked where do you live and Jesus answered the Bible says that Jesus brought them there to his house and they stayed with him and they said that day the desire of the Lord is that you stay with him just one day one day with Jesus because he reserved for you and for me one day on eternal day a day that will never end, a day for the whole eternity. When those men, they left that place, they said, look, we found what we were looking for. And the Lord has shown tonight that there is a man that a while ago he received a pearl And the Bible and the Lord Jesus himself says speaks of a pearl of great worth, which is himself, which is the Lord Jesus. The Bible speaks of a treasure that was hidden on the field and somebody found. The Lord has shown that a man received a while ago 
something of great worth for his spiritual life. This man received Jesus. He was seeking salvation, and he received salvation from Jesus. And he came up today to this house to be with us, and his question and what he's seeking is what he, he had already lost. He lost. He came to the house of the Lord, and he, he found what he what he had lost. God. God is mercy. The mercy of the Lord is the reason why we are not consumed. The mercy of the Lord has no end. So when man loses the blessing of the Lord and he seeks in the Lord a re rest restoration of his spiritual life, of his blessing and salvation, he finds it. Because Jesus came for this reason. He came to restore, to give men what man had already lost. He lost salvation. But today we can find it once again. That's why we sing this song, I, I found salvation in Jesus. If you're seeking salvation, we'll f you'll leave this place with salvation because Jesus is salvation. In Jesus, we find this blessing of being saved or having a place in heaven in eternity. What did you come to seek? Everyone seeks the Lord. The world seeks, everybody seeks Jesus. What did you come to seek tonight? What did you come to find tonight? Those disciples, they found what we, they were looking for. They found the Messiah, which translated means the Christ, the Anointed of God, the Saint, the Savior of the world. And this is the desire tonight, that you find the Christ, that you have a meeting with Jesus that you are able to participate in this eternal dwelling that the Lord has prepared for our lives. We sang a song that speaks of Lazarus. And I remember here of Job. In the book of Job, Job asks a question to God. He asks, if man dies, will he be able to live again? He asked this question. And he was seeking an answer to this question. And in Lazarus, God answers this question to Job through the resurrection. Whoever believes in me, even after being dead, he will live again. If you believe in Jesus, it doesn't matter the situation in which you are. Whether you're dead, Jesus will resurrect you. Why? Because for God, nothing is impossible. If you believe, my brother, you see the glory of God. What do you seek? Everybody is seeking you. But those men were seeking the Lord. They were seeking the Messiah. They found the Messiah. The desire of the Lord is that you find today salvation in Christ Jesus. Amen. So let us sing a song.
church will stand up at this moment. God has shown also the front of the house. And this house, from the outside, it looks very pretty and decorated. It looked to be a, a nice house with a good structure. But inside of this house, it looked like a place of great necessity, a very poor place. And the brother could see a, ho a bed that was made out of wood. And the bed didn't have the frame that gives support for the mattress, where you place the mess mattress on top of. And without this frame, the bed was going to fall apart. The word of the Lord came to Jar, prince of this, the temple, like a pastor. Apparently, everything looked to it with his life. He was the prince of the temple. Apparently, his spiritual life was very good. But when his daughter got sick, he found found out one thing, that Jesus is not present in his house. And then when Jesus is not present in our house, things get complicated. But he made a decision. He went and brought Jesus to his house. And a miracle happened there. The basis of the spiritual life of Jairus is not Christ. It's saying that he's there in this spiritual gift is your spiritual base is not Christ. In appearance, looks nice, but the, the structure is not Christ. The bed speaks of rest. In Jesus, we find rest for our lives. But this rest here, this rest is about to fall apart. When the rest goes away, it comes the trial, the tribulation, suffering, and this is not what God wants for your life. God is showing to you because you need to seek the Lord today, tonight, so that your house, your spiritual life may be restored and structured in the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We praise the Lord because we're thankful for your sweet presence among us and because what we sought uh, came to seek tonight we found not only the resource for this life but most importantly Lord the resource for eternal life we thank for the peace for the consolation r the relief uh, the manifestation of your spirit among us in our lives in our homes and our family members I want to thank you Lord because in you we have found everything that we need what is nece necessary for this life I want to ask you Lord you received with our praises and our adoration. We offer to you in the name, holy name of Jesus. In your name we say, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, of good and eternal Father, the sweet and eternal consolation of the Spirit be with the, the po people of the Lord now and forever. Amen. Now the church may be seated. Our service has come to an end. But as I said at the beginning of the service, do not leave, leave Jesus here. Take Jesus home. If you desire a prayer, a clarification regarding the gifts that are being brought, that were explained here in the Word, remain where you are. Raise your hand so that we may identify you. And the brethren here are going to give you all this necessary assistance. I'd like to remind the church that we have service on Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. On Thursday at 8, Saturday at 7.30 of the, of the night, and Sunday uh, school at 10.30 uh, in the morning, and at night as well at 7.30 of, night, of the night. We are all invited to come back, and from tomorrow onwards it begins um, a prayer for the, the church around the world. If, if you need a prayer, please raise your hand.